Welcome back to Nordic's Play, a Great Ace Attorney Chronicles with your Chronic Players, Phantom and Melgar. Or something of the sort. I really want to say Ace Attorney all the time, but it is the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. The Great Anyway. A huge length in the trials. Well. I put it to you that I could pull this cabin door. Without laying a finger on it. Nah. And in this very cabin, we can see the traces of the method I have in mind having been used before. I don't believe it. I am now Teru Teru. Teru Teru no. is invading these spaces where. No! Oh my, oh dear. He did that already. Yes. Well, Mr. Naruhudo, I believe you know what I mean, don't you? Because never ever in Ace Attorney games can the person explaining the situation actually explain the situation. A way to shut the ball of the cabin door from the outside? One way to our spring to mind, yes. You really know what Miss Sholmes means, Mr. Narora? You're kind of stupid. Uh, yes. And yes, you are you. stupid. Wait, are you saying she should be stupid as well? Wait, what? That's not very nice. Because we've seen it happen. Yes, yes, we did. Indeed, we have gone through this already. Indeed, we have. So, would you care to do the honors, Mr. Naruhoro? Point of the telling signs of the matter that was used, light, yes. Okay, it's because the books have fallen over. Yes. So, I need to... Present, yes! Look at the bookcase there! See how all the books and things have toppled over! Even that statue that shouldn't fit to topple over there! It must have happened when the ship made its emergency stop before! Wow! And again, this cannot be the singular times when we have had to make emergency stops on this ship. This has had to happen before. Anyway. Yes, that's right. It's a powerful vessel after all. When the engines are thrown into reverse, a violent jolt goes across the entire ship. Oh. Any small objects that aren't fastened down are bound to fall over. I believe. Yes, it's what's known as a force of inertia, touching on the object. Whoa. Aww. Is there nothing Susanna san doesn't know? Or that isn't in her book at least? Well, whatever it's called. Oh dear. No, 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 stop. The same pause that pushed over those books on the bookcase. Was it a phone? My phone. I had mm. put it on silent, but then it decided to wake me up. I'm already awake, goddammit. Oh, now, look how suspicious he looks like. Yes, sure, you're awake. Something else in the cap. Move. Move. Yeah. So, hmm? The bolt on the cabin door! <laughs> Yeah, uh... Why are you surprised? You're also stupid. It was very obvious, just after the emergency stop that the ship made earlier. We had to we had come into this cabin not long before, and we hadn't pulled it all. But then... Yes. Who was this again? 
I don't remember. Yeah. Ah, uh, right. Yes. That's it. The ships have suddenly the ball flew across and locked the door. Wow. Yes. It's made of metal, but it's small and light enough to be moved by the ship's sudden change of speed. Oh, it doesn't oh. go the other way around as well. The force of ineptia. Yes. You want to call it that? Y your. Y yes, exactly that. Yes, Rurus, okay. It's definitely your personal ineptia to know about words. Oh, uh, you trying to say that last night after Mr. Asagi was killed? Why are we watching this? It's honestly really poor design. Yeah. Because the goddamn cabins aren't really that secure. Mm -hmm. If they can just open and close just like that mm -hmm. when the ship goes up. And that should really be bothersome for the crew to have to constantly <laughs> really like mess the doors to open them. Anyway, SS Puria made another emergency stop. When I woke up this morning and looked around the cabin, I thought it looked a little odd. All the books on the shelves had toppled over. Oh, come on! All the ornaments! The ornament that is exactly the same. Anyway, this is BS! What? Yes, we know the books toppled over. Like, what? <laughs> it was almost as if someone had run in their ha run their hand across the shelves and deliberately knocked everything over. Storm. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> Good for you. Well done. Let's do them all up again, didn't I? Yes. And now they've fallen over again. You messed up, messed with the crime scene, yes. We remember. Then we came into this cabin. We were surprised to see the same thing in here. All the books and everything. Yes. Over, just like Mr. Azogi's cabin. Yes, well done. Um, I, I'm a surprise. Do you have anything to say about this, Miss Pavlova? Apparently not. Are you out of your mind? You say Puria met emergency stop. It doesn't seem a, it does seem a little far fetched. How could that possibly have happened? Really? Unless you're saying that the culprit is actually someone from the engine crew. I mean, the whole ship is working together on this, probably. Oh dear. Oh, it is simple enough. Hmm? Are you forgetting the pattern in the passageway outside? Use its trigger the emergency alarm. Yes, of course. There was a notice, wasn't there? Telling you only to press the button in times of emergency. Yes. Thank you. On dark nights, when the fog is dense, the captain cannot afford to rely on his eyes of his lookout alone. On the eyes of the uh, blah blah. <laughs> Hence the placement of a number of patterns around the vessel to allow any crewman to raise the alarm. The sort of pattern. One is almost compelled to press to satisfy one's curiosity. Which is bad. Didn't we actually press it? I don't remember. <laughs> Yeet! It, it was you! When the button is pressed, two things happen in the interest of safety. The emergency alarm bell rings and the vessel comes to a complete stop. And as indeed it did 
a little earlier today. <laughs> Is this Charms? Surely it wasn't you who... <laughs> As I always say, a button has but one purpose in life. Touch it. To be pressed, whatever the occasion. Never let this man into anything that actually shoots something. He sounds almost proud of himself. How dare you mess with ship! I report you to captain. You are in much trouble now. Now, now. I'm sure that all can wait until later. Let us not overlook the fact that we have not learned a valuable lesson. When the vessel made our emergency stop, the bolts of the cabin doors slide close. So, what we must know now consider. Yes, it all comes down to one thing now. Last night, after what happened to Mr. Asogi, ship make an emergency stop or did it not? Well, we don't really know because the ship log that uh, Mr. Stroganov keeps so vehemently was quite empty from the last night. And that hints that there was an emergency stop because he could not keep the log. Exactly. You are idiots. Puria is a huge ship with many passengers. If we make emergency stop, even in the middle of the night, there would be chaos everywhere. What are your thoughts, Mr. Naruro? Well, actually, I was in the cabin for the whole thing, so... Ah, well. It's certainly possible that some kind of emergency happened last night. We have evidence to support that idea. Really? <laughs> what evidence, Mr. Naruhodo? You should be well aware of these things already. A fascinating to show us, my good man. What evidence promotes the theory that some yes, yes. took this vessel last night? It was the. the this one. Yeah, no entries. Seaman Stroganov. It's your duty to patrol the first class area on the ship, isn't that right? Da. That is correct. Live. And the ship's lock here. This would be where you record the details of your duties? What are you doing with that? That is mine! Ah, you rather carelessly left it out of the makeshift bureau in the passageway out there. But as a responsible passengers, we took it into our care with a mind to return it to you later. <laughs> I left it here on purpose. That is where I put it always. Which is not actually that good. Yeah. The point is, looking at what you usually record, it's clear that under normal circumstances, you write the phrase "nothing to report" every 30 minutes. Does he write in it in something else than Russian? Because they can apparently read it. Ah. Just, just asking. Yeah. But from two o'clock last night until first light this morning, nothing was recorded at all. Nothing recorded in the packa. Wait, no, wait. That's not my thing. Yet, uh, yeah, because nothing happened. But if nothing happened, you would normally write nothing to report, wouldn't you? Suspiciously in English, he all that of all things. Actually, maybe not even English, actually Japan. Japanese. God damn. 
Yulb. Indeed so, which tells us short that shortly after 2 a.m. Something happened. He reported this as a spuria. Something sufficiently significant to make you forget to feel the, the ship's log. In fact... Is that jesting? The ship really didn't make an emergency stop in the middle of the night. Wow, you figured out. Stop talking rubbies! If I'm perfectly honest, I find that a little hard to believe myself. And nobody noticed that there was an emergency stop. <laughs> What's wrong with you people? Shouldn't you notice that huge jolt? Well, mm. anyway. Oh, why? Well, because if something as major as an emergency stop really had happened, surely all of us would have noticed. But is it about the headache that they all had? Mm -hmm. That they were drugged and all that. But still... Mm -hmm. That's very true. Yes. At least some of you should have noticed something. Yeah. Next to the emergency stop you experienced earlier, we all know what it feels like now. The ship lurched so violently, and the alarm bell was so loud. I can't imagine that anybody would sleep through that. But if it happened in the dead of a night, you would. You would sleep through it like that. Yeah, uh. yeah. Well, well, no. That, that's that's a good point. Yes, you would. Dot, 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 dot. What of the dropping? Yes. Sorry, what do you mean? Your head, man. The dropping of your head since this morning. We have all suffered with it. Yes, uh, ah. I don't want to do this stupid. Ah. I. Oh, yes, I had a headache. You're right. In fact, I haven't been feeling myself <coughs> since I woke up today. Oh, have I? It has been feeling heavy ever since dawn. You people are so lucky if that's all you get. <laughs> Damn. I have a headache. You feel like myself. Yeah. I. God damn, if it was that easy. Yes, you all been afflicted, haven't you? Just as I suspected. He's right. My head is dropping today, too. And since eating dinner yesterday evening, everything has felt sort of hazy. I can't really remember anything that happened after I climbed back inside the wardrobe. Sounds so stupid. Mm -hmm. It's like he's a stream person living in the goddamn closet. Then the first thing I noticed this morning was the dropping pain in my head. I had already been tracked out of the wardrobe <laughs> and had those handcuffs put on me. But that why didn't I wake up when all that was happening to me? Uh, tell me, Mr. Naruhara, you boarded this vessel as a stowaway, didn't you? Oh, um, well, yes, sorry. The stowaway class of accommodation doesn't usually include meals. What did you survive on? Oh, well, Kazuba looked after me. He was always happy to share his meals. So you enjoyed some of the whole roast chicken dish that was served yesterday evening, I take it? Yes, in fact, I had all of that. Kazuma wasn't fond of chicken. How convenient. Oh, really? So the victim didn't eat any of the chicken at all? That's right, he didn't touch it. Is that relevant? I can't really put two and two go one or one together. Oh my, you're such an idiot. 
<laughs> my DF, hello. Does that not strike you? He's trying to be nice about it. Yeah. Oh god, you're stupid. <laughs> yeah, so... Mr. Schmoms, do you mean to say? That there was something wrong with the chicken. Chicken! I love to look I do. on her face. <laughs> no. Really? Is that really um, the and then she's so disappointed, like, come on. <laughs> the meal prepared for the passengers last night had been tampered. <clears throat> tampered with piety addition of a sophoric, designed to induce a very deep slumber in those who consumed it. A sleeping drug. Do you mean whoever did this made every meal with a sleeping drug, so no one wouldn't notice the ship's emergency stop? Is the matter or not? Of course, that's what Mr. Shams means. What a far-fetched idea! <laughs> Indeed. Precisely. Lacing everyone, every meal of every passenger on board with a sophoric drug would certainly be impossible. Unless, that is, every single member of the crew was a conspirator. What? Shams! Well, see, man. Yeah. That is my contribution. Puff, puff. I'm sorry to say that any more deception in this matter will get you nowhere. Zuh. If you refuse to talk, there would have to be an inquiry made through the ship's cap company, of course. And where to where that to happen, every member of the crew and the captain himself would be hauled over the coals. For aiding and abetting a renegade. Mm. Yes, no more. Yeah, I will kill you everything. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the face. Yeah, there's the face. It looks like a monkey. Yeah. To be honest. <laughs> I can't make problems like this for everyone anymore. The uh, yeah. Boo. It looks like a Donkey Kong. Yep. These crewmen are your former comrades, I believe. Yes, so Vienna decided to, to run away, and he asked him to help me. You all agreed to help, everyone together. See through of everything, your fame in the ballet, not Russia, we wanted to help your angel. No, oh. I don't believe it. Oh dear. Yes. Rotaro comes out again, no. You are right. You put sleeping truck in chicken last night. I'm very proud of it. It was my crowning kiss. Yes, I remember now. I did notice chewing on a lump of something says and Peter and what Ew, what? why did you spit it out? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Yeah, you could not make old drug. How to say dissolve? <laughs> Isn't it when you found that uh, disgusting thing in your one of your microwave meals? Yeah, <laughs> don't remember. <laughs> me. It was uh, no, uh, well, that I mean, artery. Yeah, but it looked disgusting in a photo. And there was pasta, so first I thought it was just weirdly shaped pasta going through the meat. 
He was still janky. I mean, even though that was just a natural part of the meat, but still. Mm -hmm. huh. Talk about heavy seasoning. Yes, it was. <laughs> natural seasoning. At midnight, in waters near Shanghai, we brought our angel on board. He was helped by a comrade on shore with a small fishing boat. While all the passengers of Mercedes Furia slept soundly. Thanks to the almost magical effects of the slumber inducing potion their evening meals had contained. What if one of the passengers had an allergy or something or... Uh -huh. And then... I mean, so, you could have killed someone, if to be honest. That's what happened. The only people I ate on this ship last night were the crew, people who dislike chicken and... The newly born passenger, Miss Pavlova. Yeah. Well, that means a lot of people. That means you. It would have been possible for you. You would have used the emergency stop to trick the lock Casuma's cabin door. But how does that make sense? Ah, uh, well, that, dear listeners, we have to see in our next episode. This is so long. Oh yes, but we are at the final stretch. And we are <laughs> accusing a whole shipload of people of conspiracy while we are greatly unnumbered <laughs> by them. Hmm. Well. That should make <laughs> all the sense. Yay. But I mean, if you don't want to miss the upcoming episodes and all the twists and turns of this plot and where it ends up and all that, you can subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, and keep watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.